This is Mike with the Strawberry Store. This is another uh, brief segment about the uh, germination process. What we want to show you here is a couple of uh, points uh, post-germination. After we've germinated the, uh, uh, the seeds in the uh, tray of water, in the boot tray, uh, we bring them out uh, when, they, when we have a, a good number of them that are starting to sprout. You can see here, uh, you can probably see fairly well, there's a lot of the uh, uh, the seeds that have germinated and uh, have uh, you know have some green on them already. Um, what we do is we for a few days after they've sprouted, we bring them uh, to a special table that we've constructed uh, that holds four trays. This is a two foot by four foot uh, apparatus. We can put three or four lights in here, uh, the four foot lights. Uh, these are just regular fluorescent lights. Anyhow, uh, we bring them in here to uh, to give them an opportunity to send their roots down into the soil. What happens uh, in a lot of cases if you allow the uh, seeds to germinate, they'll germinate on the surface, and if you get uh, some drying conditions, the uh, the roots are not able to to penetrate into the soil for several reasons. One is that the uh, surface becomes dry. Uh, and uh, th this causes the uh, uh, the root system and the plant to start to dry out, and a lot of times they'll die. Uh, the other thing that happens is the uh, as the soil dries out, it gets hard, uh, or the surface of it gets a little harder, and uh, the roots have a harder time penetrating. So you can see here, uh, some of these have actually started to stretch a little bit. We did have the the light up uh, a little ways further, uh, a little higher than this uh, initially. Uh, just to just to be able to use a single light uh, on a tray. Normally we we have three lights uh, on this uh, system here, uh, three lights for four trays. Uh, we'll be bringing some more trays in here today. Uh, so I just wanted to show you uh, what we do post germination for a few days before we actually move the plants either outdoors or move them into a cold frame. Uh, the other the final point, I think, uh, is that with just normal fluorescent lights, I think you want to have the, the lights pretty close to the, uh, to the soil surface. Otherwise, the, uh, uh, the young plants uh, kind of stretch and uh, start flopping around in there, and you can uh, end up with a lot of different diseases uh, or disease uh, situations. Uh, so you want to have the lights pretty close there. Um, we'll probably leave these uh, plants under the light uh, under the lights for probably up to a week uh, to make sure that you know any stragglers that are germinating uh, have a chance to to penetrate the roots the uh, surface of the soil and, and uh, start to root uh, pretty well uh, we will make sure and keep the uh, soil moist um, from from now on uh, but we're not uh, soaking up uh, moisture from the bottom anymore so this is Mike with the Strawberry Store concluding this segment.